Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ati Allah, Ati Rasulullah amri minkum. Alhamdulillah. <coughs> Always a reminder for myself and abdi qur'a jisu daifu, miskinu, zalimu jahal and for the grace of Allah that keeping us in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah granted for us to enter into the holy month of Zulkidah the reality of eleven, the eleventh lunar month and the realities of nine and the Sultanat brings out the reality of ninety-nine. The ninety-ninth name of Allah Sabur, ninety-ninth name of Sayyidina Muhammad which is the key to every name of Allah and the 99th name from Dalal Khirat, Nabi Mustafa And alhamdulillah Surah Al-Zalzalah, the 99th Surah of Holy Qur'an is the dress and barakah of this month in which Allah opens and dresses all creation from the realities of Zalzalah, Surah Al-Zalzalah. And the uh, tajalli is the hijab al-nur. And Subhana Zulmulki wa Malakut, glory be to the owner of the world of form and the world of light <clears throat> and the realities of eleven. And alhamdulillah that we've thought many times that from that binary station in which Allah last month was teaching, annihilating the love of Prophet to annihilate and keep the station of a nukht after the dress of Ramadan in which that nukht can by a qudra be energized and brought into the presence of the One. So that to reach to the world of form and the king of the mulk means we have to be with the king of the mulk to be dressed with the king of Malakut. And that's why the importance of La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah and that Allah's ancient reality for Nabi Muhammad Nabi Ahmad fi samawati wa fil ard is that Allah wanted for us to reach to that reality, to reach to the kingdom of Nabi Ahmad which is ancient. When describing to his holy companions that the first thing… Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago. Los Angeles, Pakistan, there's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. that Allah created was the light of your Nabi and your Rasul. Means that this reality of Prophet is a very ancient reality in which Prophet is the king of all Malakut and the reality of Risalat and Messenger and, and representing Allah is but one in the world of light. There's one representation because the world of light represents singularity. It has the immense oceans of tawheed. There's no two representatives of Allah but one representative in Malakut. And that's why Allah can never be seen, it's La ilaha illallah that qudra, that light, that power resides within the qalb of Muhammad Rasulullah And the malakut is the ultimate tawheed and singularity. That's when we've described before that how many one drop, one drop, one drop equals how many drops? The world of form they say, oh it's three because you said three times. 
But in the world of light, light is uh, not a form. So then one drop of light, one drop of light, one drop of light is but one light. And that the reminder of this malakut, this world of light means it's taking us back into that ocean of reality that, I want you wa ma arsalnaka rahmatan lil alameen. Why Allah gives this description is that without the key in the world of form, there was no chance of reaching that in the world of light. So means that creation has to come to the key in dunya, in their world of form, in their manifestation upon this earth is their imtahan and their testing ground to reach to the king. If they can reach to the king of this world of form, this opens the opportunity for them to reach to the kingdom of the heavens. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And this is Sayyidina Isa salam who's talking to the reality of Prophet And he plays a role in bringing all creation back, all the creations of tawheed that they're supposed to be from the nations of oneness. That Sayyidina Isa salam's role is to bring back those whom follow Sayyidina Isa say that they love him and that those whom follow Bani Israel because he's a khakham, he's a, a, a rabbi from Bani Israel. He brings together the nations of Christianity and Judaism that they, if they miss the boat then before judgment day the role to come back and why he wanted to come back to be from the nation of Muhammadun Rasulullah because he knows that reality that these people have to come to you, you are the key of this reality. And he taught them the du'a, O my Father who art in heaven, holy be thy name. There's no talking to Allah Prophets don't make mistakes, they don't become mushrik, they don't become idol worshippers. But he gave to us a clue that my lineage is connected into the heavens and has an immense reality and awliyaullah come to teach people. He's talking to Prophet and he referred to Sayyidina Muhammad as Nabi Ahmad because of him seeing him in the malakut. Muhammad is a name for mulk, Nabi Muhammad is a name for Prophet based on the mulk and the world of form. The world of Malakut, the name Nabi Ahmad is the superior name because it has the hamd that Allah created from, that created him to be the hamd. That all praise be upon him that Allah granted this hamd and praise and that Allah is the source and power of that reality and the fuel and engine of that is, in Allahi wa malaikatuhu yusalluna ala nabi That's Allah's jet fuel. If anyone wants to know how the reality of Prophet is powered, Allah gives us in the holy verse, this is the jet fuel, for verily Allah and His angels are praying and praising upon the reality of Prophet Immense, means that Allah's zikr is upon that reality. And that's the secret of Nabi Ahmad that he carries the hamd for all creation and Allah gave to that reality an alif. Allah dressed the hamd the most praised in all creation, the entity and light that he would be known by, Nur Anwar or Sirat al-Asrar Allah handed that reality 
and alif. So handed the reality alif and as a result of the alif is power is Divinely. It may confuse you as godly because these powers are not uh, uh, normal people power, these are powers from Divinely Presence and that's why Hadith Al-Qudsi is a description of that, I'm going to become the eyes in which you see. This is not about us, Qur'an is not about us, reality is not about us, we are supposed to be nothing. This is our journey to the realities of Muhammadun Rasulullah in which Allah wants us to understand, don't think about yourself, you're not important in this story. This is about you seeking what type of gift I gave to Muhammadun Rasulullah so Allah dressed the reality with an alif. Then from that reality Hadith Al-Qudsi is describing to us, he does his fad, he does his voluntary but now what is this dress Allah is giving? I become the eyes in which you see, this is Allah teaching us what He's dressing Prophet with. Means He has the eyes of Allah seeing, I become the seeing, the attribute. So then Prophet sees with Allah seeing, it's Hadith Al-Qudsi, this is not the khal and talks of people. I become the hearing in which you hear. So Prophet has Allah's hearing. I become the tongue in which you speak, means he now speaks for Allah I become the breath in which you breathe, means the nafas of Prophet sustains all of creation. That's not something you can understand, that we can understand. You're not thinking of your breath, you're thinking about the Bahr al-Muhit where everything exists in Muhammadun Rasulullah and Allah describing what He gave His Khalifa. You're going to be the breath in which I breathe, means through your qudra and through your breath you sustain all of creation. And just the drop of that was given to the Sultan, the nine Sultan and Awliya where they have Sultan al Dhikr. With each nafas in and nafas out they breathe entire secrets of Holy Qur'an. Some achieved with one breath, some achieved with ninety breaths. By the time of Sultan and Awliya, Mashaykh Abdul Faiz al Daghestani, Siru, every breath in and every breath out was with Sultan al Dhikr. Breathing in all the secrets, why? This is for us to understand. When Allah is describing Prophet you be the breath in which I breathe. That's not something small, it's not even something that we can understand of what that breath, anything that needs a breath in its existence, small, large, spider, human, bear, anything, its breath comes from where? <gasps> The ability to sustain itself with oxygen and the nutrients that are required in its ability to inhale and exhale for if Allah stopped that inhalation it would die. The ability to sustain it with that breath Allah is describing in Hadith Al-Qudsi, I'll be the breath in which you breathe. Means the Nabi Ahmad is ruhaniyat and the nafasa rahma. It's a nafasa rahma. Who's the rahma of Allah? Wa ma arsalnaka rahmatan lil alameen. All of these are descriptions of the rahma that Allah wants us to achieve. But you can't achieve the proximity with Nabi Ahmad if you haven't gone through the door of Nabi Muhammad Mulki wa Malakut. 
it's a two-sided door, you have to open the door from mulk to pass through the door of malakut. It's not two doors, it's but one tawheed. Not like you go through one and then you get to the other. But Yawmul Mashar Allah makes all His Prophets bring all their people into the door of oneness in which all nations will run to the presence of Prophet what to enter into the door of Nabi Muhammad Yawmul Ishra wal Maraj all the Prophets entered that door because they made their salah on the Isra. He greeted 124,000 Prophets and Messengers of Allah in which they accepted the door of Nabi Muhammad so that they were entitled to now enter to the presence of Thy Kingdom come to Nabi Ahmad That means every breath, why then all the tariqah shaykhs? The 40 grand shaykhs of the order, they said, this path is based on the breath. How can people not know what the breath is or its importance? That breath is the breath of Sayyidina Muhammad That their ishq and their love for Prophet they are being sustained Every breath they inhale in, they're asking from the malakut reality in which Prophet is breathing into them that force of light and, and existence, all of its rahmah and all of its mercy. They're not asking from the dirtiness of their breath. When they went through the door of Muhammad they entered into the realities of Nabi Ahmad and asked for nafas al-rahmah. That's why they teach their students, there is nothing more important than you achieving that breath. So then meditate so that this Nabi, this King can dress you. If you go about life running just your life, your insignificant seed achieve nothing. But when you negate yourself and we negate ourselves that we are nothing and we want to be dressed by the breath of Prophet that's the Hadith al-Qudsi now because that when Allah is describing that's for Prophet, this is the adab of, of marifa. Allah is describing, I be the breath, this is for Prophet We're asking Allah Ya Rabbi let us to inherit from that. That Prophet dress for us and describe that, I'll be the breath in which you breathe. Means they carry the nafas of Nabi Ahmad I'll become the seeing in which you see, become the hearing in which you hear, I become the hands in which you touch. When Allah describing that means that Yadullah Allah's hand is upon the hand of Prophet means that every power and every might is under the authority of Sayyidina Muhammad And then Allah is describing that in the way of marifa. If all the world comes to help you and if that hand is not on your hand, they can do no benefit to you. And if all the world comes to kill you, and that hand is on your hand, they cannot harm you. You can't say that you reach to Allah's hand. So the way of marifa comes and teaches, no Allah is defining for them and refining their understanding that you are the people of bayat, you took the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad Now let us describe that hand. In which the hand of Allah is upon that, all might and majesty is in that hand. If the hand of Prophet upon your hand, nothing can come against it. And if you didn't reach to the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad nothing can help it. 
Now we understand why Mawlid is important and why the majlis of Salli Ala Nabi is important. Then Allah describes that become the feet in which you move. Why? Because the most blessed feet are the feet of Sayyidina Muhammad Qadam al Haqq. And our life is to follow these Qadam al Siddiq, the great Siddiqs and the Sahabi, the Ahlul Bayt, that they paved a, a path for our feet. That take this Sirat al Mustaqeem, take this path. Istiqamu fi tariqat, keep firm onto your path, this path that takes you to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and upon this earth 124,000 of those paths exist, very few of them are for guidance. But those them that they allow their path to be seen then these are guided paths to the rope of Prophet so that we can inherit from that when Allah is describing and Prophet inspiring, I will be the feet in which you move, I'll be the breath in which you breathe, the eyes in which you see, my hand is upon your hand, that my feet are upon your feet and that you are of a lordly soul, Rabbaniyoon. And you have power of kun fayakun because your heart will ask me and I will ask Allah and it will be granted inshaAllah. Means then the reality of that reality is that this explains the immense importance of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad And that we're going through the door Allah wanted it so much that he describes, wa ma arsalnaha rahmatan lil alameen. If it wasn't for the sake of opening the door on the world of form, Allah would not have sent Nabi Ahmad to the earthly realm and to the world of form. But that it's a gift, it's a portal to a Divinely reality that's so high and so immense that it can't be understood. And that's when Allah is describing from us, I would not have done that, I would not have sent that door upon the earth. But it is the most blessed, the most blessed portal, the most blessed reality because it takes you to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Nabi Ahmad in paradise which is the Rahman, the mercy of the Divinely Presence, is the secret of all the Prophets had asked that Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Means the door to the heavenly kingdom must have arrived upon the earth with the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And no other Prophet has that reality and every other Prophet that came warned their nation that will come after me, a Prophet who name is Nabi Ahmad and their duty was to prepare their nations for when that door appears upon this earth that move to that door, move to that reality. Then we pray that Allah address us from the immensity of that blessing, the immensity of its realities and the Allah's favour and ni'mat and blessings dressed from the Nabi Rahmah that the immense mercy, the immense ishq and the immense love for all ashiqeen that trying to move to that reality under the intercession and love of Sayyidina Muhammad Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmat Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need, your support is greatly appreciated. 
also. Be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.